Hello Drain Events, I'm Rob Ronakis. I'm Rory Merrill Wyatt. We're from the Renaissance Sword Club and we are going to be demonstrating a vulgar display of power today by looking through uh, a couple of bits on cutting from the Book of Lessons. Uh, it's uh, an anonymous treatise, a compilation treatise that spans from about the 1580s right the way through to the mid 17th century. Starting off with a little bit of an excerpt from a book by a guy called Caval Cabot, um, which was certainly translated into French in 1595, right the way through to uh, miscellaneous lessons from what we uh, seems to be from uh, Italy and Spain and perhaps also France as well, as I say, towards the end, sorry, towards the middle of the 17th century. So, without further ado, we're going to get on. So the cutting part in this is brought in three parts. It starts up with um, drawing out a response, then a response to that response, and then a response to that response. So we're going to go through each part in turn. The first bit is really where I'm going to see what Rory here is actually going to respond with. So the first part, we're meant to start in short measure, and what I'm hoping to do is draw a reaction from Rory, really by trying to see which way he's going to parry. I'm going to do this by launching an attack down the centre of his weapon. So we're very close when we're doing this, Queen of the Book. So I'm pushing in here, as you can see, he's pushing across his body like so. And this is going to give me the impetus to make a cut to him. So, jump, and I come around, and I hit him like so. I'm going to show that the other way, so perhaps it's a little clearer. So, I'm going to come in, you can see, the pushing like so, he's parrying me over this way, and this allows me to come around and to hit, like so. Okay, so that's the first one, and we may parry the other way. So, let's go back to where we were before. So this time again, I'm doing this, this thrust seam opening, bit of air in between, I'm going to push through, and you see his dagger comes over. So, push, and this is going to allow me to come around and hit him here. So again, one, two, like so. So obviously it'd be unfair if uh, I get all the fun. So this time is where we're in a slightly longer measure. I'm going to again try and hit Rory through the weapons. And notice how his weapons are very much crossed over. So I'm trying to hit down here. And I do this, and immediately he is parrying to his outside. But watch what he does. Like so. So basically, again, to come through, I push. He's parrying with the sword and the false edge. He's crossing around, hits him around the head. Cutting me with his dagger. For the second technique, his weapons are open. It's, it's a bit of a thing. So I'm falling for it though. So I'm going to launch straight into it. And here he crosses the weapon over and hits me with a reverse. We'll just show this from the other way. So again, he's a little bit open, and I'm just going to go for it, because I'm a bit silly. Like so, he crosses it over and hits. So let's just show this a little bit slower so you can see what he's doing. Notice how his dagger's right above, sorry, his, his dagger is right over my side. I'm pushing in above his sword, and he's crossing over there, and I have, almost a hanging guard, and he's coming round, and skadoosh, he's hitting me. What we're going to do here is again I'm doing this, notice his arms are a little bit open, I'm going to launch in here and he's going to try and, and parry me again and do that same cut to my head. So 
and come in. Now this time I catch it. Dagger on the weak part, sword on the strong part, and then I just pop that straight in there. I come in, he parries, cuts, I catch it like so, and I hit there. One more time, just so just we can get it a little bit right. One, one, two, three. So the final technique is sort of the same thing. Um, I think it's a bit tricky to do. Let's see what, what you guys think of this. So again, we're coming in and we're launching here. Notice Rory's parrying like so. I mean, you have to bring your sword back, your dagger on the strong, and then you need to push it down like so. Notice how Rory had his dagger up there to cover my sword. So I, I find it a bit tricky. I'm assuming in the book, they're thinking that our opponent doesn't get their dagger on right. Anyway, let's try this again. So I'm coming down the middle, he's coming in, I bring my weapon back, I've got my dagger here, and then I just bring it straight down onto him like so. Okay, so we have unmasked again, um, just to give a, a round up of the techniques, and thanks to Rush and Rory for, for helping produce this for you guys at Drain Event. One thing to take on board about this treatise is we're not really sure what weapons they're using. Uh, as we know, we've got Cabal Cabo from the 1580s, a little bit later, uh, and then we go right the way through to the, the sort of the first quarter, middle half of the 17th century. And there's no indication as to whether this would be for a lighter rapier, for a heavier, more sort of side sword type thing. So there's a lot of room for interpretation on this. This is what we've come up with and this is what we're playing around with. Hope you guys have some fun with this and have a play around with it too. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs>